Hey YouTube, this is Rishika. So this video would be my 48th video tutorial on data stage. As you all know, uh, I have been trying to make a, video, a series of data stage video tutorials on YouTube. And the previous video tutorials, uh, we have pretty much completed most of the stages in the develop. I mean, all of the stages in the development or debug category, and most of the stages in the processing uh, processing category in the palette. And uh, after and after that, I'm trying to make a series of video tutorials on real time tasks uh, to take a little break from uh, the regular uh, videos. Okay, so uh, for the past four videos, uh, I have been trying to make real time tasks which are simple and yet important in my point of view. So this video will also be one of the real time tasks which I feel is important and uh, simple yet again. So uh, let's get into it without wasting any time. So uh, the scenario is the scenario which I'm going to explain is something like this. So let's say you, you got like three files or whatever the number of files, more than one file, okay? And uh, let's say you have like three fields, uh, three fields in one file, two fields in one and one field in one, okay? But the requirement is is somehow to join or merge or funnel all those three okay so how gonna you do that because the basic thing which if uh, uh, the, the basic requirement for funnel is the metadata should be same right the metadata should be same the metadata should be same in the sense uh, the number of columns should be same and their metadata like that uh, whatever the, the uh, data type and the nullability all those things should be same right that's a basic requirement for funnel and uh, for join on join on merge the column names should be sim uh, column names and the nullability all those things should be same right for the key column uh, which should define right so that those are the basic requirements but what if we don't have or we don't see a common column between the the, uh, the files okay so that's the scenario so what we're going to do uh, is so let me uh, let me directly jump into the scenario it's a simple one so let's get into this so i have three files basically i'll i'll show you the data okay uh, so this will be i probably have some funnel data yeah so and i do have first line column names Okay, and the format and the columns. Let me give the column name. Uh, merchant ID, merchant name, and status. I just created the files, so I have them at my tip of my tongue, so I'm just not seeing any file or anything. Okay, so I'm just making everything work out, okay? I'm not giving any length or anything and nullability let's make them all yes okay so uh, let me show you the data so I have three columns or three fields which are all varchar type and all nullable fields in the first file okay so uh, yeah this is a first file I'm, I'm, I'm trying to uh, register uh, register in your mind. I'm trying to make them register in your mind. So I have three columns, three fields, all nullable and all are varchar fields, okay? So I have these three, okay? So this is my first file. And uh, let me go to my second file now. Second file is something like funnel 2 and yes first line and column names true format yep it's comma and column name probably it's going to make easy if I say the table definition but yeah I rather do it this way if there are like very few columns okay and this is status status come on status and All varchar and uh, nullability is yes in everything. Okay, so this is the one. So it's the same thing. Okay, it's the same. Uh, it's a different file, but with the same number of fields and same data. Okay, and here is the uh, important 
important part here. So funnel three, it's gonna be okay, true, and format gonna be same, and columns they're gonna be just two fields, okay? Merchant ID and merchant name, okay? So, but still they're gonna be worker and worker, okay? So and may let's make them nullable and nullable, okay? So uh, yeah, this this is uh, so this file the first two file this one has uh, three fields, sorry, and this one has three fields, but this one has two fields. Now if I try to uh, put the funnel stage here. Okay, now if I try to put the funnel stage here, columns, okay, so, okay, let me show you the output. Okay, so, yeah, so see here, merchant ID and merchant name. These are the only two columns which are present in uh, the common files, all the three files, right? These are the two. Uh, these are the two common fields which are present in all files. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not concerned about just these two. I'm also concerned about the third. Uh, third column, which is called state status. Okay. So, uh, which is which is missing in this uh, in this uh, file, right? So now, how 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 are I gonna manage that field? So I'm gonna drag this link and put a column generator stage here and then put it funnel here okay and in column generate stage i'm going to use explicit column method and column name going to be same right if if the column name is different uh, the funnel stage does not detect so the column names should be same and the metadata should also be same okay and uh, here put in your uh, and metadata should be same, right? So what's a metadata here? Varchar and yes, right? So, yep. Now, if you see here, see the column is generated. So now just drag and drop onto this. And when you see in the funnel stage now, see you have three fields. Before you didn't have this status field, right? You just had merchant ID and merchant name. But because you have added uh, you have generated a column generator stage using uh, sorry you have generated a field using column generator stage just to funnel them that is the reason it's showing up the status okay so yeah that's one thing so now uh, let me put a data set and then write it Okay, so browse for file. Remember, these should be parameterized. So, how many columns should we get? Three, right? So, now because we have the same metadata in all the three files, now we can have uh, the funnel thing going on and all the fields can move forward. Okay, so if you don't have. Okay, if something happened here. Okay, let me see. So why did it fail? Uh, it is seeing something here. When setting up for transfer status, the source and destination have different nullability. See, how cool is this that stage? It's saying what's the error and why is that error, right? So something we have done here. Yep. So let me see here. So the status field, uh, what did I say here? All the fields are uh, nullable, right? But what did we do here? Here there are only two fields, right? But in the column generator stage where we generated things, we made it to nullable, I mean not null. So that is the difference. So it's saying that uh, it's saying that because you created an uh, you created a not null field, but here when it's funneling, it's uh, when it is funneling, it's not it's nullable, right? Because the other two are uh, other two are nullable fields. It's saying there is a difference in nullability, so it, it can't uh, propagate the field. Okay, so that's the reason it's aborting. Now when you say yes, so that's the reason I said the data type and uh, data type and the nullability, everything should be same. 
for the uh, for the fields which you want to move forward uh, with the final stage right let's say if you don't want if you are not interested in status field yeah that's okay because you need not do the column generator you can just drag all the fi all the files and just go with merchant id and merchant name if you are not interested but if the requirement is to move forward with all the three fields to the next next stage yeah that's when this uh, comes into action okay so see now uh, it's it's run it's run successfully and uh, so 5 and 5 10 and 10 plus 3 is 13 so there should be 13 rows right so yeah this uh, this this is how it works for the uh, column generator uh, using column generator so it's it's pretty much same uh, okay let me sh uh, let me see the data okay so what data we have for the uh, status there active and inactive okay for the first two files but since third file did not have uh, did not have any field uh, for the status we just created column generator right what does column generator do if you remember my uh, call uh, video on column generator stage it generates a field or it generates the values for the column specified on the fly right so see so whenever you see this uh, this uh, weird values this means that the column generator has created these values okay so uh, yep yeah, that's that's the one okay and now let's say you want to make some sensible values okay so if you remember I probably mentioned it in my column generator stage too but yeah anyway so if you want to have like little sensible values rather than some stupid values you can you can choose like the alphabet or the cycle here I'm just, I'm gonna choose cycle and what was that inactive and active right so I'm gonna put inactive and just to identify dummy okay so uh, I'm gonna put another value which is like active and dummy okay so what gonna happen in algorithm cycle is the first first value are gonna be inactive dummy and next active dummy and the next again it's gonna cycle it gonna, it's gonna repeat as as long as there are records okay so yep that's it and so yep that's it and let's compile and see this again now instead of those weird a b b b and c c all those things they should be inactive dumb inactive underscore dummy and active underscore dummy right and those gonna be uh i don't remember how many records let me see and so those the uh, those gonna be like probably one five records so two inactive dummies uh i don't know yeah three of three of one each uh three of inactive or two of active or the other way anyway there should be a uh, five underscore dummy records okay because that's the column we generated on the fly so there should be five records so let's now check if there are five records so so yep one two three four five so we got it right so first one is an active dummy and then active dummy and then inactive dummy and active dummy and then again inactive this is because it is a continuous funnel right continuous funnel and uh, what if you want to choose the sorted funnel or yeah you can choose the sequence of funnel funnel type choosing the funnel type does not make a difference because ultimately what we're gonna do is this is the important part we are just trying to uh, make a field which makes it easier for funneling if we want to move forward with all the fields or with th that particular field which you want to move forward to the next stage okay so if you're not concerned about that just don't bother about it okay so why to waste uh, resources creating a fun uh, creating a field here and funneling it and not moving forward with that uh, field right so yeah uh, it doesn't matter it's it's not just for funnel stage it's for any join stage like a uh, uh, it's 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 for uh, probably uh, the join stage, the merge stage, or uh, you can probably uh, try to uh, look up. Probably look up. Uh, you can just use the copy stage before or the transformer to change the field name and do that, I guess. But yeah, mostly we're gonna use it for funnel, join, and uh, merge stages because uh, for the fun. Uh, what happens? A funnel is this thing, right? So what happens with the join and merge is they're gonna be they're gonna be key column okay so if if we choose this sort funnel 
it's going to ask for key. So it's the same for join and merge stages. When you choose the join and merge stages, it's going to ask which is the key column you want to join with. And uh, when you don't have any key columns in this, uh, co any common key column or common field in these three, uh, in these three files which you're trying to join. So that's when the problem arises. So that's when you want to try to uh, create some dummy row, uh, which is common, uh, which is dummy row based on the common fields between the other two files and then create on the fly uh, values for that specific and then later on uh, do whatever you want. Okay. So that's uh, this. Yeah, this probably might not be the uh, like the uh, common or the most uh, mo mostly done scenario but yeah sometimes it might help in handy so that's the reason uh, I'm, I'm explaining this okay so the other thing which I want to show you is yeah so so you might be wondering uh, if there is a sort funnel right so uh, let me show you uh, one thing so let me choose the merchant ID as uh, my key field okay and I'm gonna uh, choose uh, some hash sorry I'm gonna choose some hash partitioning or something and my key field is merchant ID okay and I'm gonna put uh, I'm, I'm sorting it on the link so I don't have any link uh, any separate sort stage explicit sort stage, uh, explicit sort stage I would say so I'm just uh, performing sorting on the link okay and this is on the first link and next hash partitioning and this and perform sort okay and and third file hash partitioning and uh, perform sort and I will also a uh, merchant ID yep. so I will also I'm, I will also select this unique thing if you remember in my earlier videos I try to mention this or uh, I mean not in earlier videos every stage video pro I'll try to explain this what are these things so just try to look into the final video I guess okay so uh, unique thing so I'm checking this unique thing because I want to remove uh, any uh, any duplicates uh, if the moving forward from funnel okay so after funnel there should be no duplicates uh, based on merchant ID okay so that is what I want to do so unique here um, then you can just mention uh, from what file you should get unique records okay so I'm, I'm just trying to explain uh, all the unique records from uh, all, I want all the unique records from three of the files okay so how many did we get now it's three uh, three plus five plus five 13 records right so now let's see how many records gonna be uh, unique so it's uh, so whatever the count is decreasing those are the duplicate records okay now let's check for that so there were 13 records previously here on the output link. So now there are 12. So that means one of the one of them has like a double merchant ID, like the duplicate merchant ID. Okay. So yeah. But having said that, you can do the on, on link, I mean in link sorting here. Because this is a very small data, yeah, probably it's gonna work. But when when there's like huge data, like millions of millions of data. On link sorting or in link sorting with hash partitioning technique or whatever the uh, whatever the technique may not work effectively. So when you have like huge volume of data, you might want to use explicit star sort stage and then sort based on the fields or one field or whatever, and then uh, use the allow duplicates as true or false on the sort stage, right? So yeah, that makes more sense when you have like little amount of data and you're not you're not bothering about uh anything so yeah you can just use this uh unique thing it it it, it, it depends on the uh scenario i guess it, it depends on uh what actually is your requirement and what actually you want to do as per the project architecture and as per your resources basically it's not it's not like hard and fast rule that it should be uh done this way but i'm just trying to explain it uh multiple ways depending on the project architecture and all that things okay so yep that's the other thing which i want to show you that's all and the sequence it 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 uh sequence funnel it doesn't matter because it's going to just uh write first file okay it's going to write first file uh to the data set and then second and then third in the sequence okay so that's all so yep this is the other scenario which i want to show this is a pretty simple one but yeah 
it might come in handy as i said earlier so uh that's all guys that's all in this video uh probably in my next video uh this will be the uh, last real-time task for now i'm not saying i'm go not gonna do another real-time task uh later on but yeah for now it it gonna be the last real-time task and later video uh immediately the next video will be um i'm trying to make something on pro project uh flow basically the etl uh life cycle or the etl project management uh because we have we have completed at least a little uh, i mean at least uh, the important part of the data stage right we have completed most of the important stages and uh the real time task so because we got pretty much clear i mean not clear i guess but we we got a little clear idea about uh, a little uh uh, idea about the architecture um that is stage and the client uh, i mean the data stage client tool so i thought i'll i'll try to make something on project uh, flow or something because that might come uh, i mean that might be helpful for your interviews if someone is trying to uh, crack an interview because that's a most uh, commonly asked question so yeah that will be my the, my next video and later on uh we'll jump back to the uh, processing stages whatever the left on the processing stages yeah i'll try to explain those all right guys um thank you so much for watching and uh keep uh keep spreading the word the primary goal is to uh basically enhance the data stage uh increase the population of our data stage world that's all thank you guys thank you so much for watching